Hello and welcome to Outside In. My name is Steven. Today we're going to be revisiting the Melectrix spot welder that I did a review on several months ago. I received a comment recently on that video from Mad Max 3288 and he wrote have you tried copper nickel sandwich welds? Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> no, I have never tried that. I have used a number of spot welders and so far the Melectric spot welder is very powerful. The hardest strips to spot weld are nickel and copper, but pure nickel and pure copper. So. I found a roll of pure nickel strip on Amazon. I did a corrosion test and I let it set there for at least a day in the corrosion solution and it was absolutely pristine. So this definitely 100% is pure nickel, which is the hardest to spot weld instead of the nickel plated steel strip. I also found some T2 pure copper stripping now the pure nickel is 0.15 millimeter and I'm thinking the copper is 0.2. I'm not sure, but we're going to test that before we do the test. Anyway, let's get right to it and let me take you right over to the bench. And that would be this camera. Okay, here we are at the bench. So I didn't get this messed up with my other rolls. I put pure nickel so I don't get it messed up, confused. And then the T2 pure copper stripping. Now we're going to zoom in a little bit here. So it's 0.145. This feels more like 0.2, but we're gonna, let's see exactly, no. Yep, 0.25, wow, 0.25 copper. So that's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is 0.4 total millimeter so that's going to be quite the test to see if this can pull it off now the spot welder here i usually have it set at 18 which does a very good job at i think even 0.2 so 18 percent i have the um the foot pedal attached to this and i usually have this set on 18 i know this is going to be quite tough to do I'm going to start this at, okay, let's start it at 40%. <laughs> let's start it at 40% power. Let's cut off a couple pieces of this. Let's get that out of the way. All right, now, from my research on the internet, now I did write um, Mad Max, but he never wrote back because I wanted to be sure what he meant by sandwich, so I did some research on the internet. This is what I found. Copper strip goes down first on the batteries and then the nickel strip on top of that one and then they're welded and that's what is called a sandwich copper sandwich weld this is like i said going to be quite the test for the electrics the only thing you really want to do with a spout welder is just hold it down to where it's making contact with the battery and that's it you don't want to push very hard so hard that it indents because you're not going to get as good a weld but just make good contact light pressure so let's see how this works and this is 40 percent and it came right off okay but let's see did it okay that pulled right off too okay so now i'm a little nervous that's 40 <laughs> percent all right but still we got 60 percent to go so let's put it up to let's just go ahead and put it up to 60 percent 60 percent and then try her again Okay, it stuck a little bit better, but not the greatest. Okay, I don't know. Let's see. This might not do it. <laughs> All right, let's um, let's let's go up to seventy-five percent. Yeah, it still come off pretty good. Yeah, this stuff is very. They're right. I've not, this is my first time trying this. I was really hoping this was going to do it, but that is, maybe I shouldn't have got 0.25 
copper, but that's the, like I said, this is the only roll I could find. But let's go on up to 100%. 100%. Okay. Wow. Well, it kind it tried. It did try. It tried. It did try. All right. Let, let's try that again. Well, I guess it's not going to do it. It's stick to the copper pretty good, but it didn't go all the way through. All right. Let's just try just the copper. See if it'll do that. It should. And it didn't. No, it did not. Yeah. Wow. All right. The copper by itself is not doing anything. But if you add the pure nickel with it, then it tries to stick. All right. On that note, then I'm going to try a piece of nickel plated and see if that helps. All right. Now on this one, I wrote not pure. <laughs> so let's try not pure and see if it will work. But that's odd though. The nickel, the copper by itself doesn't even try to stick. But if I put the nickel on top of it, so uh, somebody in the comments can let me know because it sounds, it's almost to me like without nickel, the copper is not going to be able to be welded without the nickel. The nickel almost acts like a catalyst. So, but this is not pure. So this is nickel plated steel. So let's see if that will maybe do it. And I can already tell you that even if this did work, I don't think you would want to be doing it very long because this is already getting quite warm for the small amount of time that I've been doing this because so many amps are going through this. Ah, no, that didn't work either, but it did stick to the copper better. So, wow, I was so hoping that the Molectrix was going to do this. Just in case somebody asked. Now, I don't think I'm going to need 100%, so let me back it off to 75%. And we're going to try just using the pure nickel strip and see if that welds to the battery. And it should, though. Uh, yeah, that's a... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, well, we know that the Melectrics, my goodness, that is on there. <laughs> wow, that's on there. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, two big holes. So, yeah, pure nickel. It definitely worked with the pure nickel by itself. And I don't even think, I think I could even reduce that to, say, maybe even 50%. And that was 0.15. So I'm going to say that even if you had pure nickel that was 0.2, it would definitely, the Melectrics would spot weld it with no problem. Now I wish that I had a 0.15 or even 0.1 copper. Because I'm going to say from what I've done with already with this, this is 0.25. That's pretty thick. Pretty thick copper. So it's going to take quite the spot welder to do that. But like I said, this was the only one I could find online. The only person that sold it. I don't know why I couldn't find anybody selling this. Maybe I just wasn't searching correctly. If somebody has a link to some like 0 0.10 pure copper or 0.15, I'm almost going to say that this definitely would have worked if this would have been 0.1 or 0.15 this would have worked but 0.25 yeah it's just too much to be fair please believe me to be fair Melectrix only says that this will go up to 0.25 not 0.3 but actually this will do point above 0.2 because i've done it not using pure nickel but nickel plated yeah this is pure nickel right here pure nickel 0.15 and it left two big holes, 75%. So I'm positive that this will do 0.2 at least, 0.2 pure nickel, which is pretty awesome. Not many spot welders that you buy will do that. But unfortunately, it just isn't doing the sandwich weld. So I think Mad Max, that that was a successful test. Unfortunately, the 0.25, I didn't even realize it was that thick. That's a lot for any spot welder. The Melectrix is a powerful spot welder, but I think to be able to spot weld something that thick is probably going to cost 
a buttload of money. <laughs> Let's put it that way. A buttload of money. The Electrics, I think, did an outstanding job. After I ordered this nickel strip and I started testing my other strips, I found one roll that was actually pure that I had gotten with a spot welder. And I can't remember now which spot welder it came with. And it is point two, or I have it written down as point two. So let's go back to the bench and we're gonna try that then. So let's see. Yeah, this is pretty thick. So let me see, let me check the thickness of this. And I do believe that it is point two. Point two three. Point two four. Point two three five. So point two four, which is nearly as thick as the copper, but this is pure nickel. So let's give that a go and see that it will see if it will do it. All right. So let's see if it handles point two four pure nickel. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's on there. All right, let me, uh, let me take this off. Oh, my goodness. Golly, that is, yeah, yeah, that uh, ripped right through. Wow. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Also, too, putting that many amps onto a battery. Yeah, you probably don't want to do it too many times in a row. Yeah, this one... <laughs> Looks like, now these are just, these are not very good batteries. I use these for testing. But yeah, this is already pumped up a little bit. So probably you just ruined this battery, pumping that many amps into it that many times. So yeah, if you're going to pump that many amps into a battery, yeah, try not to, try to only do it at least amount of times as you, you can get away with. Okay, so there you go. Uh, Mad Max, I uh, appreciate the comment that you made and I hope that if you get to see this, you get to see also that now I've tried a sandwich weld and well, unfortunately, it didn't work with the electrics. It tried at full power. It actually stuck. Not very good, but it did stick. So I'm thinking that if you used 0 0.10 or maybe even 0.15, because this copper, unfortunately, was 0.25. But you just saw pure nickel 0.2. It spot welded very, very well at 75% power. So the Melectrix is very powerful. If you want to use pure nickel strips and you can't seem to find one of those inexpensive uh, AliExpress spot welders for 20 bucks that will do pure nickel, get the Melectrix. Definitely will do the job for you. For sandwich welding, I would say if you use 0.1 pure nickel, it would sandwich weld with no problem. See, I may have been able to do it if I'd had if that copper strip had have been 0.15 instead of 0.25. So in that respect, I would have to say that yes, the Melectrix will do a sandwich weld, but you just have to be careful about the thickness of the materials. So 0.1 on both sides would be great. And I'm thinking 0.15 on both sides would probably be also good because that was 0.25 on the copper. But like I said, Melectrix definitely states that we'll do 0.2, but I'm pretty sure that it doesn't say anything higher than that. But that's pure, that's nickel, okay? That's nickel strip. It doesn't say anything about copper. Copper is probably the hardest thing to spot well. So anyway, I hope this answers anybody's question not only Mad Max, but other people as well that may have had this question. The Melectrix is quite powerful. Spot welder? Yes, it is. You saw that it spot welded 0.2 pure nickel with no issue at all at 75% power. So yeah, at 100% 0.3. I would say that it would probably even spot weld 0.3. And if not pure nickel, the nickel strip plated 0.3 i'm sure definitely 100 percent spot weld with no problem it just uh did not do the test that i threw at it but i think i was being unfair but like i said i had no choice because it was the only strip that i could find so anyway there is the test i hope you enjoyed it it was fun creating this if you have any other suggestions that you'd like to see me do please ask in the comments and i will do my best to be able to bring that to you
So I'm going to end with take care of yourself, take care of each other, find somebody that needs a reason to go on and give them that reason. Find somebody that needs to laugh <laughs> and make them laugh. Take care, God bless, and I will see you in the next one.